another Penguin Teen TV episode. It's Felicity back again and this time I'm going to take you behind the scenes of the Silver Shadows book trailer shoots. So without further ado let's go behind the scenes and meet Nick and Daisy and some of the other crew and see how these things are put together. Daisy is now getting her makeup done. We don't usually do makeup on book trailers, we just think people are naturally beautiful. But she has to get her Sydney Sage Golden Tattoo. So we've got Nat, a lovely makeup artist. Hey Nat! And Daisy, and they're going to sit here and she's going to get draw it on freehand. We usually use a book. And while that's happening, really importantly, <laughs> Nick just snoozes. Classic, that couch is just Nick. Super hard work is going on here. We should like plant little um, Easter eggs in the tattoo. Ah! S SS for Adrian Ivashkov. <laughs> What's SS? Sydney Sage. Oh. Oh, you're fired. Get out. <laughs> this is the part I'm good at. She's rubbish at. Sorry, it's true. <laughs> so Daisy and Nick oh have a God. really love-hate relationship on camera. It has evolved now into just hate-hate. <laughs> In fact, we film their scene separately. <laughs> Sometimes when you don't need an actor, you just need a voice behind the camera. We step in and help out. So I'm here with Slytherin of Sludge, aka okay, hey, Daisy. Thanks, man. <laughs> and we're pink toss shoes <laughs> and we're doing some scenes. So hopefully you're impressed with Penguin Teen's acting skills. So we're here. What's it's up? what time? It's not three in the morning. It's it like, feels like three in the morning. It's 7.30 in the evening. I know, it's what the heck is going on? on? But we are in the glamorous under the bridge location. Whoa. This is a little downfall. You're about to get downward spirally, aren't you? I'm on my way. Yeah. Well, it's not a glamorous location. What? It's re-education! <laughs> Yay! You're about to break down. Yes? Got to go cray cray! Yeah, Nick got to do it. You got to do it behind him now. It's your turn. So, yeah. it's going to be fun. He gets to do it behind me. And no dialogue, which is good, because that always takes up time with audio and whatnot. So this is just fast and quick and easy. Just go crazy on cue. Yeah. Really <laughs> just cry. Now, cry right through. now. <laughs> it's Penguin Teen TV, we're doing our Silver Shadows behind the scenes trailers and we're here with Nick and Daisy. Let's talk about the book trailers and how you guys got into this. I mean, we've talked a bit about it before online, but I guess probably, Daisy, for you, you came on board first. Yeah. So tell me about how you came to be part of the Bloodlines book trailers. Um, well, I got a call from my agent saying that she had spoken to this horrible woman on the phone <laughs> called Felicity. No. <laughs> Um, and that I had the right look for the character Sydney, and then I did an audition, and I don't remember what scene I auditioned with. I, someone's asked me that before, and I can't remember no, what no, it was. No, no, because you got the phone with me. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what it, what it was. I don't remember either, actually. Yeah, it up. was short though. Must have done a really good job. <laughs> it wowed me. I dropped the phone. It was amazing. <laughs> um, and. Yeah, and then I came in for the first lot of trailers, and I've been here ever since. And so controversially, Nick, not the first Adrian. Not the first Adrian. Adrian number two. Mm. Oh, well. I mean, I mean, you should get like a sign. I Previously know. played by. <laughs> who was a lovely guy, but just, you know, we, sure. as we always say at Penguin Teen TV, or Penguin Teen in general, we listen to what you guys say and your feedback. And I don't one listen of the, to you. <laughs> We don't listen to him either. Um, one of the greatest feedbacks we got from you was that the, the first Adrian, while well, lovely, just wasn't connecting, wasn't working for us, so we went to a recast. And the, the, the story how you came in was quite entertaining. Yeah, I mean, because when I, when I drove up in my 67 yellow Mustang with my cherry <laughs> Slurpee, they were like, that guy right there, that is him. How does he know what's not even written yet? <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. What? No, 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 you came to the audition and originally the plan had been that we were going to do a competition and have four or five Adrians and you guys were going to vote for us. We were going to audition them all with a scene and you guys were going to, you know, have the power and cast our Adrian. And Nick came in first. And you took their power away. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... oh, sorry, you glimpsed it, we took it away. No, 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 it was literally... Uh, Nick came in and, and kind of blew uh, blew the audition out of the water, which was handy. Yeah, well, I try. <laughs> and then when I saw you two on the on the first day, when we had to film those um, the intros, the introductions, when I first showed you guys the new Adrian. Um, I saw you in the foyer and I was just like, that's got to be Adrian because you were just there with your helmet and you just had like this leather jacket on, you're looking all badass and I was just like, yeah, that's him. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything you can tell us about what we're filming the silver shadowy wise today? No, can't tell you anything. It's pretty much true. Somebody dies. 
<laughs> do they? Really, I don't they do know. <laughs> no, we actually. I don't think we actually can say anything because no. so much big. There's some pretty big bombs in this, and like to even allude to them would be like. We no, couldn't. No, we just couldn't. Like, and I think that's what another thing with the trainers we're really careful about is that we always tease you, but I don't think we ever want to ruin it for you. Mm. Like no one's ever going to be like, and then on page five hundred and twenty, they all die. Yeah. Like, it would be me. Michelle Mead will do crazy things to you, and so you've got to be careful. There's some crazy stuff in this book. I was actually pretty surprised. Yeah. Pretty surprised. And you guys, that's part of the thing, is you get to at least, if not read all of it, hear about what's happening before we shoot it, most of it, yeah? I'm a slow reader. Yeah. Well, no, but also, I, you know, I, we, we have to be very careful about who we give the pages to. So. I'm not trustworthy. Well, <laughs> I'm not. You we might, know, be, we you might be trustworthy. Daisy often gets to read it beforehand, because... We like to give Daisy preparation. They like me better than you. <laughs> uh, there might be an Adrian number three. <laughs> <laughs> We're still not sure about him. <gasps> uh, it was a good good couple of years. I know. Oh, sorry. It's been Move fun. On. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have been doing this now. We've sort of done a combination of trailers, and it's sort of the last three that you've really been doing the trailers together for a while now. And has it been an interesting period? Because the trailers started before the VA film was done. Yeah. But through that process, once the film was cast, it got a lot. The trailer acting got a lot more attention. Mm. How, yeah. What's that been like? Um, it's been really good. I, I think. I mean, I've actually made some friends out of it. I stay in contact with a lot of people and chat to them. And yeah, it's been good. I've met quite a few people who are fans of the VA series and attended like a few events. And it's it's a bit surreal. Mm. But yeah. it's been really fun. Yeah. What about for you? Same, so, similar. Um, it's been quite overwhelming hearing everyone's differing opinions. Um, they're not always positive, which is kind of... Haters going to hate. Yeah, haters, haters going to hate. hate. Um, it's been a learning experience to, to deal with that because mm. not everyone's going to love you and you can't match everyone's imagination of the, what the character would be. So we just you know, have to do our best. It is interesting hearing negative feedback because yeah. I always try to think, don't... T don't dismiss it because it might come from a place of exactly. helpfulness. Well, yeah, it's because someone took the time because they actually thought about mm -hmm. it. So, yeah. And look at how the trailers have developed since the first ones that we did. And that's all because, you know, we've been listening to you guys mm. and they've come so far. And we cry. I mean, we drink a lot and cry when we see the bad comments. Yeah. <laughs> and then we get over it. Into an and alcoholic. Yeah. Why are you sorry? Trying to, trying to, to cope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this question is from Lily Calloway on Twitter, and she wants to know, what's it like offset? What's the atmosphere between you guys and the Penguin Teen staff? We hate we them. Hate we hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really fun. We have a lot of fun mucking around together. Um, the hard part is probably the work. <laughs> the work. The work. Um, it is actually, the hard part I think for us is to go from this kind of jovial atmosphere, which is what we're like behind the scenes, to then go, right, action. Yeah. And, and I think what from, from behind the camera I can tell you guys what's really hard for these guys is they have to go to very intense emotional levels straight away. Mm. So, like, you know, in a film you've got a whole scene to build up to that and we're often doing the most epic, most intense, most scenes straight off the bat. We're like, good morning, here's a coffee. And cry! It's like so, first thing in the morning and we've just got to make out and have a passionate, steamy, hot scene. Yeah. It's like, good morning. <laughs> it's a real stretch for her. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is from Alex Middleton on Twitter. She wants to know, do you guys get to read the whole book before it's released or do you just get given scenes? No, I usually get to read the whole book. I usually just get given scenes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's because I, I think I have a, a mild form of narcolepsy and I'll fall asleep. Like, I won't get through the book. Like, they could give me the book six months before the thing is due and I, generally I won't even get through it. But I have gone through, like, the majority of the books up until now because I really wanted to understand what it was coming from. So I do get pretty excited to, like, come in and, like, sit down and, like, oh, so what happened? Yeah. What's going we on? We do. We have a little Bloodlands book club yeah. before we start shooting we the trailers. Do. This question is from Green Beans on Twitter. Would Daisy date Nick? <laughs> would Daisy date Nick or would Sydney date Nick? No, Adrian? would Daisy date Nick? Oh, hmm. Who, well, who's to say that we haven't? Oh! <laughs> no, you did! Well played, madam, well played. <laughs> this is from Adriana Del Rucho. I'm sorry mm. if I butchered your name. What a great name. On Facebook. Mm. For both of you guys, do you have a girlfriend or boyfriend in real life? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Next okay. Question. Next question. How you both? How do you both prepare for the book trailers? Do you just memorize your lines, or do you only have techniques? Well, I try try to memorize my lines, but I think <laughs> we were talking about this earlier. I don't like to 
memorize them completely when I'm at home because without having the greater context of how things are you can become really prejudiced and you get like in the sink of like saying words a certain way and um, sometimes without re re like reading the whole book or understanding the greater context of the scene you are really narrowing your ability to sort of like go there emotionally and someone who for like me like that's kind of what I rely on for everything so like we'll be sitting here be like what do you think of this like how, how do you want it said like what was happening here and like that's kind of more so on the, on the day it's, it's better for me and then I try and feed off of Daisy a bit as well how she's feeling so I think I'm kind of the opposite I, I do heaps of work <laughs> I put heaps of work into analyzing a scene um, I yeah I learn my lines um, and you know I just I, I, I do a lot of work beforehand but you guys, it's so funny, you're so like your characters yeah. in that way, it's brilliant, is that from day one you were always like, yeah. coming in, your lines were written out, you've written yeah. notes and everything, Nick's like, what time are we shooting? Yeah. I, gotta, I gotta go to Photoshop, <laughs> I gotta get ready, I gotta get to character. It was great. It yeah. actually was, and it actually I think helped the on-camera mm. stuff, the way it worked out off-camera as well. A question from Danielle Fritcher is that, can we have the book now rather than July? Sorry, no. 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 <laughs> and if there was a movie adaptation, I think of Bloodlines is what you're asking, can you two please play Sydney and Adrian? I refuse. Sure. I refuse. <laughs> well, we uh, kind of think, okay, I will. I think we kind of think of this as our little movie adaptation. You yeah. Know? Look, the sometimes the production here is like. Do you remember when we did the one where I was carrying her in the fire? Yes. I was like, that is Hollywood. Uh, I, felt, I felt pretty uh, good about that. We one. were kind of impressed with ourselves on that one. Yeah. But, and there was that trailer. There was a poster recently that looked a lot like it. I saw that on Facebook. You put yes. it up. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's like a, it's for some Australian movie. And you were like, mm hmm. Yes. We did that. They no. stole it off us. Well, honesty time. I did. Didn't steal off Doctor Who. A lot of people said it was a Doctor Who shout out. Yes, that too. But also, originally, I was an OC fan, and that was how Ryan oh, carried wow. out yeah. Melissa yeah, in Mexico true. when she was. Uh, Felicity showed me the scene from the there OC. Wasn't any fire, though, yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, there it was wasn't. An explosion it was behind no, 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 her. No, oh, that was the one from when she died. But spoiler alert, oh, from five years ago. <laughs> that was five years ago. No, <laughs> the one when she passed out in Mexico was yeah. just oh, an yeah, alleyway. Yeah, 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 so yeah. it was more just about the rescuing aspect of it all. And I liked it because I think you know Adrian in that up to the book series hadn't got a chance to be heroic. No, he hadn't. And this was his like real hero, kick the door down moment. So yeah, it was exciting. It was it was fun to do. Okay, Erin Daniels. Hi, Erin. We know Erin. She yeah, comes to a few of our yeah, of course. Events. How are you? How does it make you both feel to bring these wonderful characters to life for the fans? I feel good. I feel good about it. <laughs> it's yeah, it's good. awesome. Jazz. Hey, Jazz. I know Jazz. Um, wants to know, because of the timing between the filming of the trailers, does it take you a while to get back into your characters? Good question, Jazz. Great question. Not for me. Um, yeah, not for me either, really. It's kind of like Sydney is pretty close to me as a person anyway. And now because this is, what, like the fifth? I mean, we've well, done we, Yeah, a you've lot. been doing them since book one. Yeah. And that would be, we've, there was one, two, there was one where there was two Bloodlines yeah. trailers in a year, but yeah. it's, I've known you now for about four years now. Yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah. Thanks. So it takes, I mean, getting a new script, it kind of takes like a minute or two just to sort of be like, oh, what would, what would Sydney do? But it's not, it's not a massive struggle mm. because she's not that different to myself. I don't find it that, that tough, but um, I don't know. Because you're just an amazing actor. Oh yeah, that's that's really what I was what I meant. By. <laughs> no, I mean, look, a Adrian's a pretty complicated character. He's got you know so many different facets to his personality, but there's an there's an underlying character that doesn't really change that kind of resonates with me. Mm. So for that, I don't find it terribly difficult. While they seem easy on top, you know, you're balancing a guy who's spirit enhanced can swing so wildly. Yeah, he's manic. And then, but out of context in a trailer, that can be just seen as overacting and stupid. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, when we did the one where I was banging on the door, yeah. screaming, like people were on the street watching me, like, what is wrong with this guy? <laughs> what are they filming for? <laughs> like, and then, you know, yeah, but totally out of context, I would have seen like overacting mm. for sure. But when given, and that's part of the problem with the trailers too, is when you have a whole scene, you can build into something where it's believable, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you you sort of ease into like, okay, this is why this person's reacting in this way. But with the with the trailer, we it's so cut. It's just like you really, like you really do have to sell. It's very difficult. I found it really challenging. We're doing Silver Shadows today, which is book five, and there's six books in the series. This is kind of going to be. We're heading towards oh. the end. Oh, no. What do you want to happen? Not knowing, obviously, without spoiling Silver Shadows, but not and not really knowing what's going to happen in mm. book six. What would you like to see happen to your characters? Die. I want him to die. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Yep. I want him to die. So there's no Adrian three. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I don't want him to die. I want, of course, a happy ending. I thought you were like, going for the ultra-heroic 
pile of glory. Oh, no. Well, Maybe that would, he could that die saving cool. Sydney. That would be really romantic. Why'd you give it away? <laughs> <laughs> What do I want for? I don't know. That's that's a really that's a tough one, um, because it's like I almost we were talking about this before. There isn't really like a prime antagonist. Mm. It's not like mm. Harry Potter and Voldemort. It's not like you know like there has to be this epic standoff battle conclusion. So I almost feel like Adrian could just he could live on. Like I hope that Michelle does another book series that maybe focuses on some other characters, and Adrian makes an appearance in those later. Yes, in the background, just shopping. It's like, hey. hey! Um, Sydney and Adrian going to Ikea. Yeah. No, I think I think that would be really good and, and you know, the, I I kind of would actually like it to live on. I want to see like a flash forward to Ooh. 10, 15, 20 Ooh. years just kind of to see what happens ultimately. You know, how how does everything tie up at the end? I think that would be really nice. Sydney's little see. living in Mexico with Marcus. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> does, does she end up, you know, I'm does joking. she end up with I'm Marcus? I'm joking. Or, I'm joking. You can't or, do that. No. Adrian, yeah, I want to. I want to know how things end, but not just in the book. I want to. I want to know what happens to the characters. Yeah. Cause, you want the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Because we've. I've become attached to them now, so I want to know that they yeah, have like, a good life. Yeah, do you have life. a sense of both of you have a sense of protection over those kind of characters? Like, yeah, you, like oh if my anyone gosh. talks, like you know, Rose. Do you feel? But do you get angry when people say Adrian should have ended up with Rose? You're like, no, that's my boyfriend. Uh, I kind yeah. of think he should have some. Oh, oh yeah. what? Why? Just no. <laughs> what? That answers the question right there. Totally protected. I was like, no, I totally don't get protected. protected. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't be scamming on my man. Yeah. No, I guess I do because, yeah. No, I do. I care about what, what happens. Yeah. All right. Well, that's kind of it. That's cool. sort of behind the scenes with these guys. Um, bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget, Silver Shadows is out 29th of July in Australia, New Zealand, the US, Canada, I'm sure very many other English-speaking countries. We will try and keep you updated as to other regions as well, so that you can, if you're in a European nation, you'll be able to find out soon. Hopefully, there's a lot more adaptations coming through. But otherwise, watch out. Once you've read it, don't forget to hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, any of those sites to tell us what you thought. Join us. We're already already dying for the ruby circle which is book six which comes out in february we've started the campaign of waiting we're in a camp by ourselves and we're waiting for you guys to join us we expected it to be a very very full town after the 29th of july we are struggling for an outro okay. on the Penguin Teen TV in general. Okay. Can we have any suggestions? Scooby Doo ending. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's one. No. <laughs> sure. Um, Good suggestion, Nick. Um, how about a simple fade out? Ooh, it's fine, out. simple but effective. We've tried, you know, Penguin Teen out, which is not good. Oh no, that or, is bad. Yeah, don't yeah. ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> don't ever do that. We could do like a, you go P and I go T and then A. Oh, yeah, that's good. Uh, but then I need you for every episode then. All right, fine. That's we'll fine. come back for we'll every come episode. We'll come back. <laughs>